what we're anticipating this year is similar to last year. We're going to see some of the more colder temperatures dipping down to minus 26, minus 28, and uh, then as much snow as we received last year. At the end of our season, we did a post-winter debriefing with the ministry staff as well as our own internal staff. And then we took feedback that we received during our stakeholder survey. Some of the takeaways we took from that, we've added a newer grader into our fleet. We've also decided to have some overlap within our foreman areas just to have more consistency when you drive through different areas. A lot of people don't know that they're separate foreman areas maintained by separate crews, but we're decided to have a little bit of overlap so that you won't see distinction between the two areas. Another thing that we've done this winter is we have really ramped up our liquid application program. And in that we've had all of our employees have been trained with how to apply liquid, how to drive with a load, how to drive with a dynamic load. Liquid shifts more than sand or salt does, so it's a little bit trickier. In the past five to ten years, maintenance has shifted a lot to increase their liquid application. It's a lot more environmentally friendly to put it down on the roads because the salt is put in lower concentrations and it's applied directly to the road. It doesn't need the friction of the tires moving to be able to turn the salt crystals into a liquid to prevent the snow and ice from bonding to the pavement. So applying a liquid gives that little bit of a, call it a brine sandwich, so that the compact can't adhere to the pavement surface in itself. So increasing that liquid program allows us to have a little bit more time to remove the compact and plow the snow off the roads. My ask of the general public is just give our crews room. When the lights are flashing, they're out on the roads, they're working, they're making the roads safe for you to travel on, so give them the room to do their jobs. Also, know before you go, check Drive BC, the social media pages. Drive BC is updated directly from our crews, so they are giving you the most accurate road information that we can provide. So check it out before you head, and then you'll know what to expect on the roads.